Hi, this is Cygnus with a very good lesson and a video about a self-made story called The Story of the Fig Tree. This story was self-made by Professor Cygnus and as one angels. This is the story of the fig tree. A wonderful lesson about perspective, purpose, and the anatomy of life. And remember before we start to always uh, love yourself. I love myself so much and it is very important to love yourself. It is very important to have self-control. It is very important to acknowledge and appreciate yourself, to have a clean living space, to clean, to sanitize, to mop, to spray blank spray. You can see that in the previous um, videos which we have made of how to properly clean a household and subscribe to my page and you will find that in my YouTube channel. And again this is Professor Cygnus with a story called The Story of the Fig Tree. Before um, we start, I do want to say it is December 10th, 2021, and it is about to be Christmas. Remember, the tree represents the tree of life. The lights and the ornaments represent how we make of life, such as the illumination of the world. Did you know that the lights of the world can be seen at night from the NASA space station? That's pretty far away, and it can still be seen. Also, uh, the presents represent the present moment of time as well as the gift that life has given, uh, chances, choices, and opportunities. For the tree represents the tree of life. And that is the true representation of Christmas. Now, and we have reviewed that in a previous video also. And next we'll be, we will be teaching on the next video of homemade Christmas items, such as everything that you see in the background. That is all self-made, even the light fixture of the fireplace. Now we will read our story, the story of the fig tree. Remember, it is important to understand anatomy also. From the tilting of the earth upon the planet's axis, wind was created. Within this wind withheld many things. And one of these things was a seed. And if you hold a seed close to a tree, there is no way that you can make that in an instant. The growth of a tree takes time and effort from thousands or even trillions of chloroplast cells and implanted by the wind of nature as well as the condensation process of the rain. The ocean river water evaporated into the sky from water particles, as well as the sun that heats up the water, causing the water particles to rise and evaporate faster. And speaking of the sun, that is approximately 93 million miles away in approximation. There are rays and waves that come off of the sun and to the planet Earth. The third planet from the Sun in the Milky Way galaxy. The plants such as the seed that was implanted by nature depends upon the Sun's rays that contains many things. And not only does the seed depend upon the Sun as well as the water Yet the seed also depends upon the vitamins and nutrients that is within the heavy soil. And through the many ways of life, there is good and there is bad categories within life. In the heavy soil to which is held down by the gravity of the center of the planet Earth, the heavy soil contains good things such as vitamins and nutrients. Yet 
The heavy soil also contains contaminants, the bad and the good. In this story, the fig tree thinks. Imagine yourself through the perspective of the fig tree. The seed was implanted into the heavy soil that even caused harm to the seed. The seed of the fig tree had thoughts. What would you think if you was the fig tree so far? As a plant, there is no eyes for sight. There is no ears to hear, yet there are feelings. As the human has feelings through the neurological science of the nervous system and how it connects to your brain, yet it is also through the waves and signals that are sent throughout your body. Did you know a plant also has millions of waves and signals going throughout the plant also? which is proven by science. And thus, the plant also has feelings. Through the thousands of chloroplast cells to which makes up the tree. As the fig tree had felt the vitamins and nutrients, the fig tree had good thoughts of development because the good things make you feel good, make you think in a good way. Yet once the contaminants had hindered the fig tree's growth, remember the contaminants in the soil, the seed of the fig tree was harmed. Oh no. The fig tree had thought, what do you think the fig tree had thought? The fig tree thought, I need to find a better way of life. There must be something out there. And if I grow and reach out for help, Someone will notice me. Or I may even find a better way of life. The seed of the fig tree had to decide to grow and reach out for help. For the first time in the fig tree's life, the fig tree had experienced the impeccably spectacular moment of the fig tree's lifetime. And from the heavy, contaminated soil to the light, thin air, the fig tree sprouting of reaching out for help was the greatest experience of the fig tree's life that the fig tree would never forget. The fig tree thrived for that feeling once more and thought, as I grew and as I had experienced a better way of life, if I grow more, will there be an even better life out there? And remember, the fig tree was not able to see nor hear, only to feel. So the sprouting was not seen nor heard, yet felt. So the fig tree had the impression that there was more out there. The fig tree decided to grow to the highest points of the heavens. There was something that the fig tree had experienced. As the condensation process happens of the evaporation of the water and the clouds to which are made, the rain falls upon the earth and bounces back, for we are breathing in the troposphere. And the rain bounces back off the bottom of the troposphere where the crust of the earth is and creates something called fog, a light mist of particles, water particles that are in the air. The water particles had stuck to the fig tree, but yet the moisture was trapped because wood is known to absorb moisture. And as you may know, in the troposphere, there are millions of particles in the air, such as oxygen, nitrogen, yet there are many other things. There's good and bad categories, for our lungs depend upon oxygen and nitrogen, yet there are many more things in the air, such as dust, such as viruses, sicknesses, and 
mold. The fig tree had experienced mold. Mold is caused by moisture and heat. And with the sun and the rain, that does not mix very well when it comes to mold. Mold is an organism, a rounded sphere that is much alive. It is an asexual being like a starfish in the ocean, which can replicate itself. A mold spore started to spread, which is a danger to the fig tree, and the fig tree had to decide to grow more, and instead the fig tree prayed to the heavens. Peel off my bark, please keep me clean, show me the ways of life that I have not seen. The fig tree had grown taller than any tree of the land. With pride, strength, and dedication. As the fig tree had grew, the branches got too heavy to bear. The fig tree had grown to a better life somewhere out there. As the fig tree grew to the highest points of the heavens, there were so many things that the fig tree was missing. And as the fig tree cried out, no one seemed to be listening. The fig tree had said, for you life I tried my best, yet why did you not do the same for me? Said the fig tree as the fig tree had went to eternal sleep. And as you know, do not judge a book by its cover, listen to the rest. As you know when a fig tree dies, the roots still engrave and can be standing for a very long time. And five years come to pass. Five years later came a lumberman looking for the tree that grew to the highest points of the heavens. And as the town gathered in a crowd, they shone where the tree was around. The lumberman had seen the sacred perspective of the fig tree and said with sympathy, You have purpose to me. The lumberman had made so many wonderful things to give purpose and reason to the fig tree's pain. Per productive to life that shone many gains the lumberman had built a shelter with the fig tree and made tables with frames. The lumberman had made so many things with many purposes of many kinds. And the lumberman replied, you would be proud if you was alive. And this is a personal note here. And oh, how the fig tree relates to me. As my teachings are the roots that engrave. To life I felt so blamed, just as the fig tree. As I was in life just the way I came. Yet the lumber man will find me someday. Not any lovey-dovey stuff. What that means is that people will give purpose to the lessons to which was taught by listening to these wonderful lessons. The sacred perspective of the fig tree, of purpose, anatomy, potential, and reason uh, through the many ways of life. And this was the story of the fig tree. And may you all have wonderful lessons that you learn in life to understand the anatomy, to understand perspective, to understand in the anatomy you have to know the small details, such as the scientific details of how the fig tree did not have sight nor hearing, yet the fig tree scientifically feels by the chloroplast cells just as the cells in your body. And that is important to study also. And to understand the anatomy of the universe, how the sun is nine, approximately 93 million miles away, as well as where you are in the Milky Way galaxy. And what the earth depends on, as well as the plants, as well as you.
everything, one thing leads to another, and it all comes together in the anatomy of life. And understand the anatomy of life as well as the perspectives to which is within life. As you know, there's quintrillions of creatures, and it is important to understand the quintrillions of perspectives that all of these creatures have in order to know all about life. Life is like a puzzle and we are piecing this together. So thus we need to understand perspective and anatomy and science to piece this puzzle correctly. And may you have a wonderful life with wonderful lessons. And remember that it is just about Christmas. It is December 10th of 2021. If time has come to pass, I hope you know that every day is like Christmas for we are receiving the gifts of the tree of life which is the present moment of time. And remember to have self-hygiene, to take care of yourself, and to love yourself as I love myself so much. And you should also love yourself. And to remember to invest wisely, to have wonderful and good investments, and to be pure. Do not allow those bad things in your life. Only do good things. And keep a clean living space. And that is all with Professor Cygnus and Angels.